Hello, Les from Thailand here and today's video is going to be about when things go wrong with your visa application. Now there's two stories I'm going to tell you and one of the stories was from me, what happened to me and another story is from an American guy that I met at the immigration office whilst I was going through my visa application. Now the first story I'll tell you about is about the American guy. Uh, now he'd been over here for 18 years and he was married to a Thai girl and he could speak fluent Thai and when we were in the queue waiting for him to come out of the office for his marriage visa we heard some voices being raised the man and the woman arguing in the office and he came out and he was quite distressed and quite unhappy as he left the immigration office now we were in we just had to hand in some paperwork so we were in and out within five minutes to the lady but you could see she was not a very happy girl so we passed her the information and then we went back out into the car park ready to jump into the car to go home and I was talking to this American guy and what had happened is that because he was on a marriage visa his income method was 400,000 baht in the bank and what had happened his son wanted to borrow some money he gave his son the ATM card and he drew some money out it came on his phone a message from the bank that a withdrawal had been made but unfortunately they charged him an amount of money as well for withdrawing the cash out of a, out of an ATM it wasn't his bank's ATM so unfortunately when his son drew the money out he got charged for using the ATM card which took him 20 baht under the 400,000 baht he should have had in the bank so realizing what had gone on he went straight down to the bank and put 100 baht in so it topped it back up to the 400,000 baht um, now this was the same day as a withdrawal had been made so when you give the evidence of his bank statements to the immigration officer she said no you dipped below the 400,000 baht even though it was 20 baht just 20 baht underneath the 400,000 baht she said no you need to start again with your visa application so even though this guy had been in Thailand for 18 years married to a Thai, Thai girl there was no dispensation so she told him to go and start the visa process again before I could ask him as to how he was going to sort this out we got a phone call asking us to go back into the immigration office because she wasn't happy with our paperwork either so unfortunately I never seen the gentleman again to to see how we solved that being 20 back under the 400,000 so that, that was the the first story and rather harsh I thought but again it's just something to bear in mind don't go under the money that you're supposed to have in the bank yeah so the second visa story this actually happened to me so I can explain how it worked is that I get paid every month on the first of the month but in December I get two salaries in one month because of the Christmas and bank holidays over the Christmas and New Year period they pay me twice in one month so we were in Chiang Mai on holiday and I just wanted a little bit of extra money over the Christmas period so I I drew my salary out four days early I always draw my salary out on the first of the month but in this occasion it was four days early and when we went to immigration she looked through all the paperwork and said you got paid twice in one month as you can see it's the same company that paid me the fire brigade gave me two payments in one month because of the bank holiday situation and the Christmas New Year so I drew out my money early. She says, no, because in January, it looks like you didn't get paid. And I said, but it's obvious. You can see two payments from the same company went in in December. She says, no. She says, you can't do that. She said, I want to see your monthly salary coming in every single month above 40,000 baht. She says, not two in one month. But I said, if you do the total, if you add it all up, it comes over 400,000 baht a year also. She says, no. She said, I don't want that. I want to see it every single month. So maybe she was feeling in a, a little bit more generous mood that time. What she did, she extended our visa for three months. So we had another three months income coming into the bank by giving us the extension. It extended our period over the 12 months. So the next three months payments went into the bank on the first of every month so then it showed that I had 12 monthly payments so this was just a short video 
just to be careful when you're doing your visa application don't go under the 400,000 baht when you're on your 800,000 baht in the bank don't dibble into it early there are many reasons why you could dip into it and go under but once you've gone under that 400,000 baht in, in effect your visa is cancelled at that moment same with the marriage visa as long as you've got 40,000 baht coming into your account every month you're okay but if you've got 400,000 baht in the bank do not go below that because they'll punish you for that also. So if you've got any questions, send me send the questions to the email below or write a comment. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribing would be nice. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.